Mr. Market here and today I'm going to show you how to create a basic capture system using an API which I've actually made. Um, so if you're wondering why I haven't been making videos it's because I've been working on this. Uh, and we're going to be using this API in particular, capture system. Now just before the video starts I just want to tell you that as of now there is a free key which will be in the description but uh, if you're watching this video at a later date or something like that then the API might not be free so if you don't want to purchase one um, then probably don't waste your time making the video although depending how it does I might put this API on on forever for free something like that uh, but I just wanted to make the video to let people know about the site as well you know I gotta try and get it out there a bit but it's almost complete um, so we're gonna be using this capture system API now the free key I've got here this is the one that we're gonna be using and I've made this little thing here where you can just paste a key in and press update links and what it will do is it will just add the key to everyone so it's easier for copying and this is the API that we're going to be using now I'll just copy that in my notepad here uh, just like that now what we're going to do is go in into Visual Basic or Visual Studios and what we're going to do is we're going to have a button for like confirming it and we're going to actually store the capture itself in a picture box and the the picture size that my API generates is I believe 56 by 24 but I could possibly be wrong on that but we'll try it 56 and 24 and we'll just leave that there like that and then this will be let's say login because uh, for like captures obviously they use it to detect if it's a human or like a robot or something like that so more than often they're they're used for like login forms and things like that um, so I'll just go ahead these won't be used really but we'll use one text box there for actually entering the capture input and just for like looks and sort of uh, like an idea of what it could be used for this will be like a username and password input but we won't be using these two I'm just putting it there for show uh, I'll just lower them down a little bit more and I'll try and get that sort of centered a little bit just to make it look nice just like that now uh, what we want to do is I'll just go ahead and resize the whole form and you would probably want labels there but all we're going to be using is these three things here um, so in the login button we're actually in the form load because when we load it we'll just get the capture but uh, maybe you want to do get the capture at a certain point in your project maybe like uh, when a certain forms opened or when a certain button is clicked something like that so what we're going to do is set picture, picture box one dot image location and that is going to be equal to our link just like this except what we're going to do is we're going to take the code parameter away we're just going to leave it as a key and you might be thinking well why do I not have like a .png or a .jpeg on the end now my file's got a header in it and it will return it as a PNG file anyway um, so this will return an image and when the form's loaded it will put a new image here and what what the API does is when it's called about the code parameter it will generate an image and store the code uh, which was generated in a system and then what you do is when you click the login button what you do is you uh, well, well first of all we're going to create a new web client as new system dot net dot web client and then we're going to download the string of the, the API because it's going to either return success or failure um, so what we're going to do is going to say w client dot download string and we can download the same API except the code parameter now is not going to be help um, help is if you want some more information about this one because it is a little bit more complicated than the others so we're going to leave it at the equals and just add on text box one dot text and what we could actually do is say um, right here we say dim result as a string and it will be equal to that so now we can use uh, result so we'll say if result dot contains 
uh, if it contains let's say what I have pasted here successfully entered c capture just like that because that's what the page will return on a um, like a correct input then you can do here whatever you want so let's say you'll unlock a form go to wherever you want right now I'll just display a message box that show saying correct or oh, I need the speech marks but yeah correct um, and then we'll have an else and just say message box dot bloody hell dot show failure or something like that just something simple so that's a very simple thing so we'll just give it a launch and we should see the image should be there um, it looks like oh there's the image so it's generated a code for us from the API now if I entered that in 97184 press login it says correct now you can see we've not actually got any code in here that stores it locally it's all done through the server so if now now because we've got it correct if I try to do it again it should say failure because we've already used that code so um, that's sort of how it works you get the code right it delete it will delete it from the system because it's been used and then obviously they got the code right so advance them onto the next form uh, what you could also do is have like a if I just show you now you would have like a what sites usually have is they have a button or like a little label or something saying refresh and then literally all you want to do is the same thing as the form loads really you just change the image location again now uh, probably not the best way of uh, creating a capture system because there is actual ways of doing it through code um, but I just thought it's a pretty cool idea it's something that I've personally personally never seen done before um, so that's why I thought I'd go ahead and create one so here we got it we can type in a wrong code and you'll see that it should say failure just like that now if we type the correct one in 91024 just log in you see we got it correct now I can press refresh and you see we got a new code now and I could uh, enter our old code it should say failure now if I get it back up and I have to type 46062 we should be correct and there we are so that's a basic capture system using my API which I personally think is a really cool method to do it but as I said at the start the free key is not going to be free forever um, obviously I've got to pay for the server and things like that uh, but the free key will be there for a week if you want to make a nice little project with it and of course you can purchase it, it is quite cheap um, the site is basically ready to be put out there and I'm, obviously I'm going to be adding a lot more stuff to it so thank you for watching if you've got any suggestions for further videos because now that I'll be more active on my uploads and stuff uh, just leave a comment and a like and I'll see you next time